good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. I can hear you. Hello, very good. Thank you, Juan Carlos. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good, very good. Did you have a nice day? Yes, yes, I do. I I went to go. I went to to play soccer. You went to play soccer? Yes, I, I went uh, after the, the work. Good, good. And where did you play? In, in, in Plaza Integración. Good. All right. All right. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. Good to have you back. What's today's date? I very uh, uh, some more. I some more uh, the work. You worked a lot. The work a lot. Yes. You worked a lot. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. All right, Pete. What's today's date? It's Thursday. 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 Look, look here. Thursday. 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 You, you see the position that I use? You say Thursday. 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 What's the combination that I make? Thursday. 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 Which two parts do you use? Say, Thursday. which two parts do you use? Okay. Which two parts do you use? Which two parts do you use? Dice que el paladar tiene que tocar. Thursday. Two parts do you use? Thursday. Thursday. Okay, do you understand? Thursday. Do you understand my question? Thursday. Yes. Okay, so why don't you answer? Is practice my husband. Oh, which two parts <laughs> do you use? Which two parts do you use? How do you say dientes in English? Teeth. How do you say lengua? Tongue. Tongue. Very good. Teeth and tongue. Teeth and tongue. Teeth. How do you say gracias in English? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thursday. Thursday. So when you say Thursday, which two parts do you use? You use your teeth and you use your tongue. Got it? Got it. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right, very good. So today is Thursday. What month? March. March. March what? 18. 18. March 18. What year? 2021. 2021. 2021. Yes. So remember, this is uh, our last day of the week. Next week, we finish. Uh, don't forget to complete the platform. The platform is very necessary for people to uh, complete. Um, 
Any teacher, questions you, or comments? Yes. Yes. Teacher, you, uh, you continue uh, uh, next, next course. Maybe yes, maybe no. They decide. Yes. English maybe yes. Decide. Okay. Maybe yeah. yes. See yes. Okay. <laughs> So it's English Corporativo's decision because sometimes we get rotated. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's begin. Uh, which topic did we cover yesterday? Uh, conditionals. conditionals. Question about conditionals. Right, remember, we have zero conditional, first conditional, first. second conditional, and third conditional. Yesterday, we were practicing um, the second conditional. Si yo fuera usted, si ella viviera cerca, si ella viviera lejos, si yo tuviera menos trabajo, si yo tuviera más trabajo. So the second conditional is also called unreal condition. What is the form, what is the structure that we use in the if sentence, in the if clause? If plus subject uh -huh. and plus the verb. What form is the verb? In simple past. Excellent. Simple past. The verb is in the simple past form. Plus complement. Exactly. Very good. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. How do you say si usted escuchara a sus papás? If you told, if you, if, if you listened to, to your father. Very, very good. If you listen to your parents. Si usted escuchara a sus papás. If you listen to your parents, you will be in this planet for many years more. Right? How do you say si yo comprara zapatos? If I bought shoes. If but, I but, bought shoes. Bought shoes. If I bought shoes. How do you say si yo comiera menos? If I ate less. Excellent. If I <laughs> ate less. Exactly. How do you say si yo manejara más rápido? If I drove so fast, if I, I drove faster. If I drove faster. If I drove faster. Very good. So I don't see any problems by using the second condition. Um, any questions before we start with the with today's topics? No teacher. No teacher. Okay, so let me show you something. So let me check. Okay, and here's the conversation. Give me a second. Hmm. How do you say cargando in English? Charging. Charging. Okay, loading. Yes, cargando. Está cargando la máquina. Now, how do you say cargando but electricity? Charge. Charging. 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 Okay, good. Okay, can you see the image? Yes, yes. Okay. Can somebody please take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group, please? Let's check. All right, very good. So, um, what do you see in the picture? Two people speaking. 
Two people speaking, right. Are they standing? No, sitting. Sitting. Okay, so I'm going to read the conversation once. Please take note about any new words or pronunciation. It goes like this. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling. And I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. All right, any questions? Questions, questions? No, teacher. Teacher? Yes? Cruise ship is crucero? Yeah, cruise ship, yes. Cruise ship, thank yes. you. Yes, okay. Teacher, and what is the meaning of uh, do you see anything good listed on the uh -huh. internet? Yeah, do you see anything good listed on the internet? ¿Ves algo bueno en lista en internet? Ah, okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Anybody else? No. No. All right. No, teacher. Okay. Yes. While the ship is at uh, sea. Uh huh. While the ship is at sea. Mientras el barco esté en el mar. Okay. Thank Anybody? You. Good. Anybody else? Any other questions? No. All right. Let me. No. Do this. I will assign you to work in pairs. Add a room. And here we go. Practice the conversation. have my diploma but I don't well I didn't study for my English and I lost mm -hmm. I understand yes that uh, happens when we don't practice mm -hmm. yes but it's a you are brother or Dan? Mm, Brad, if you want, or Dan. Uh, okay. Brad, Brad. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. I'm not. I'm not broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listen on the internet? Next. Who about this? 
it. A deer, okay, a deer to door. Sales person to sell baby, baby products. Uh, la I did done for you. Yes, okay. Bravo. 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 Yeah. Bravo. I'm, I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listing on the internet? How about the internet? Mm -hmm. Pardon. Sorry, internet. That's okay. How about this? A door to door salesperson to sell baby products. Light diapers and since no tens. Are you anyway? I'm not good at selling. Well, I am a my check that one is out. Oh. Here is one for you, a national entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I have never been on a cruise ship. <clears throat> it, it say here you, it says here you have to work every day. Why? Thursday, <laughs> Thursday, Thursday, oh, Thursday. But, oh, but you are practicing, don't be uh, worried about that, Thank you. Uh, I was thinking uh, that in this course I were in basic, <laughs> but que ve en in this course, intermedio. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. That's a big surprise to me because I don't speak English and just write. Well, you're speaking English now. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Thanks for your help. And thanks to the classmates. Um, my English is not good, but here we are trying. <laughs> right, right. That's mm -hmm. the attitude. The trying, trying, and trying. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the most important to practice. Right. Mm -hmm. The question in the quiz are the same uh, with the activity in the platform. Yes, sometimes. Yes. And. We finished, teacher. Okay. Let me, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay.
Okay, we still have a few people coming back. It's difficult to depict it is um, borrosa. Blurry. Is, I, I use right. is a glass. All right, welcome back. Any questions or comments about the conversation? No. No, everything is fine? Yes, it's sure. Okay, good. So, what was the main topic in that conversation? What was the main topic? Find a job. Okay, find a job, right? So, let me, let me show you this. <clears throat> Getting a job, teacher, maybe? Yes, getting a job, suggesting a job, right. So I want to show you this. Uh -huh. Where, 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 where did I write? Where did I put this? Okay, if you notice in the conversation, uh, some of the verbs that they used, uh, they're followed by gerunds. What is a gerund? ING. Yes, gerund is when you're talking about the ING form of the verb. And you use something like a, like a, like a noun. Yeah, sometimes, yes. Sometimes, right. So, okay. Right, so here we have a list of verbs that are followed, with, followed by gerunds. Admit, advise, appreciate, avoid, begin, complete, consider, deny, discuss, forget, keep, this, postpone, prefer, quit, recommend, regret and suggest so these verbs that you're seeing right now they are by gerunds do you have any questions about pronunciation or meaning no teacher okay how do you say yo admito equivocarme i admire i i admire it to make mistakes, no? Okay, to make mistakes or making mistakes? Making mistakes. Making mistakes. How do you say te aconsejo quedarte en casa? I advise. I advise, advise staying at home. Stay at home. Excellent. I advise staying at home. Yes. How do you say aprecio el que me hayas ayudado? I appreciate your help. I appreciate you helping me. Good. I appreciate helping. you helping me. I avoid uh, arguing with neighbors. I begin by working. I, I complete uh, doing all my house chores on Saturday, for example. Okay. So are the verbs clear? Are the verbs clear, people? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. I can hear you clearly because the other people uh, turn on their microphone. Okay, good. Yes, uh, that's a good observation. Try to, uh, if you are in a place where there is more people, try to keep your microphone uh, silent. Okay, so once again, let's re recreate, recreate, and da -da -da -da. let me see who's here. Move to here. Move to room six. All right, so 
please make sentences using those verbs. Those verbs are followed by the ing form. So give me a second. No, it's I. The second verb is in ing. For the first is with the same forget. Okay. How do you say mm -hmm. se me olvida leer el periódico? I forget. To I forget read. reading the newspaper. Reading the newspaper. I forget reading the newspaper. How do you say, uh, prefiero quedarme en casa? I prefer, I prefer, I prefer to stay, stay at home. home. Excellent. I prefer staying at home. Very good. Okay. Is a mountain or sea? Hello, Antonio. Hello. What did you prefer? Can you hear me now? Prefer. Yes. Okay. Yes, what did you prefer? Mountain or 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 sea? Oh, I prefer mountain than sea. Okay, I miss. I miss working. Which one uh, are you doing? I prefer, yeah. Sorry, teacher. Which one are you doing? <laughs> oh, we, we, doing we the random. one word. <laughs> but which verb are you, are you practicing with right now? 
Oh. All, uh-huh. all the verbs. Oh. All the verbs. Okay. Yes. Good. good. That's good. All the verbs oh, are necessary. Thank you. And I keep studying. I begin. I begin speaking now. <laughs> no. Ah, yeah. I begin speaking now. Good. Yes. What is another example? I suggest you eating more healthy. Good. I suggest you eating healthier. Healthier. Yes, Thanks. healthier. Yes. All right. Any questions? Any comments? Teacher, what does me what does Denny mean? Uh which one? Denny. Deny. Oh deny. Nice. Deny. Deny. Uh, can someone explain the word deny? When you prevent or when or avoid accept. something. Yes, when you don't accept something. So I can say, look, I saw your... Denegar. Right, right. Deny, deny. Yeah, deny. Deny. Like uh, something is sorry, but I deny the present you give me or the gift you give me, for example. Okay, deny is when you have said or done something and you don't accept it. Now, if you're talking about congratulations, happy birthday, and I'm trying to give you a, a birthday present and you say no, that is reject. So she rejected oh. my birthday. So okay. she rejected my invitation, for example. Okay, An example for deny is, um, I, did, I deny the access to the office, for example. Right. <laughs> So you try to use the computer of the office, but it denies you access, right? Mm -hmm. Or your email, for example, too. Exactly, if you're using the wrong password, you can, uh, you can be denied the access. Right. you got
Which one are you doing? Uh, I we doing uh, two. For example, I say the government recommend staying at home. <laughs> good. The government recommends staying at home. That's a good example. Yes. Um, the other one I say is I prefer eating a mi at minuta to sorbete de carreton. <laughs> okay. So you prefer minutas than ice cream? Yes. All right, good. Welcome back. Thank you. Any questions or comments about how to use verbs that are followed by gerunds? We need more practice. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. yes I, I, I need for more practice. Right. Right. So that's why any time that you have the chance to practice with somebody, do it. It's going to help you. Okay. Yes, be sure. Okay. So let's change our last topic. Uh, what is something that you use every day? Clean the house. Something that you use every day. For example, load. Cell phone. How much do you use your cell phones? Yeah. A lot. A lot. Okay, are you happy with your cell phone? Are you? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so let me show you 
couple of questions. Let's see this here. Let's see this here. And here we are. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. Uh huh. Can somebody please share that in the WhatsApp chat? I see this here. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Thank you. Black GCs. Who's Black GCs? Me, teacher. Antonio. Antonio. Oh, okay. Thank you, Elena. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you, JC. All right. So you have this type of questions, you know, about something that you're very familiar with. Let me see this here. Breakout rooms, recreate, recreate two, four. Uh -huh. So I will move this person here. And I will move this other one here. All right. So let's do this. Here we go. And they have they have a free time with with uh, friends so uh, at, uh, nowadays uh, people when when go to a, a party or, or another place uh, they have a they have a use to the cell phone so much. 
Yes. I agree with you. Yeah. Nowadays, people use a lot of cell phones when yeah. they need you. Come on, um. Mm. Se, se me fue. Forget. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. I'm telling to Olympia that before cell phones, study was harder because we don't have Google to search information. We have to look for information in books. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, cell phones were just for calling, basically. Mm -hmm. And then yes. they, they came with the, they came with the with the idea of connecting the internet to the cell. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's true. Yes. How many years have you used uh, a, a cell phone? Mm, when I was fifteen, I had my first cell phone. I remember Movistar came to El Salvador and we have a line. Uh, I had a, a Motorola. Yep. That's a Motorola, Motorola Tango. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh, the, the first was very heavy. Right, right. Yeah, I remember my first cell phone. It was also a Motorola and it was like a remote control, but heavier, heavier mm -hmm. than with the antenna. Easy That's right. The cell phone. Yeah, and in, in those times, if someone called you, you had to pay for receiving the call. Yes, that was yes. right. because, because the company was Telemobile. Just Telemobile was in El Salvador, and they cobra. They charged. Uh -huh. They charge. Uh, five five columns for every that call time. that you received mm -hmm. for minutes per minute yeah it was expensive mm -hmm. very expensive yeah it was expensive right. that that luxury to call right right call. yeah it was a luxury that is true okay let me visit another room first is uh it's like the characteristics the characteristic yes or the specific thing your cell phone has true in my case i think is uh the shortcuts because i don't use frequently and the voice <laughs> voice memos is the other thing I I don't use frequently. I think these features. In your case, Juan Carlos? I, I don't need uh, the weather. Um, I don't need the boy, boy. Speak voice. I don't know what, what, that, what I think. Features uh, is like um, my, I, I don't know how to say it. In Spanish. <laughs> In Spanish is, is, um, <laughs> Let me ask. <laughs> okay, don't worry. We will ask him to the teacher. Hello. Características, Antonio. Features. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Yes. So, are I there asked any? You my brother <laughs> oh really it's nice <laughs> so, you have, so you have a brother believe with <laughs> yeah 
Maybe the... No, I need I need all the the picture, the cell phone. Because important when we made the uh, a cell phone, all is important. Yes. Well, in my case, I don't yeah. need the the application of my cell phone is clear. Uh, the company is Claro. I don't no. need the, the application of Claro. <laughs> Only the that. Icon. The icon. Yes. Maybe, but uh, when when I bought the cell phone, um, uh, the application um, comes with the cell phone. Yes. And many times it's necessary this the application. Yes. Okay. The other. And the other say can people use their cell phone while they are. The next question. The next question is just, mm -hmm. I do see. Okay. Uh, will it there. be a big problem for you if your cell phone was lost or stolen? Oh. <laughs> but, um, I... Okay. ¿Cuál sería un problema grande si tu celular fuera robado o perdido? I doubt. <laughs> I that is principal um, the uh, um, herramienta uh, the work the uh, um, tool I have, uh -huh. Uh -huh. the tools yes uh -huh. tools uh, I have a, a cell phone cell phone is the uh -huh. company uh -huh. I is track it I know uh, money for for make for um, call the cell phone when when driving. Yeah. It's a it's a um about for the room to the conduction. Yeah, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah. Very dangerous. Yeah, how do you uh, how do you say multa? multa? Fine. F I N E. So let's say if you're driving your car and you're using your cell phone at the same time, the police can give you a fine. They can give you a ticket. Okay. Yes. Okay. The fine question. With what does the cellular mean in the cellular phone? Hello, Olympia. Hello, I fear. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're the first one to come back. Yes. Okay, we're still waiting for Elena. JC. I need, I need, I need practice so much. What? I need link. Uh, the preference uh, connecting is practice. I know practice uh, English uh, everything. Um, practice one or this class. Good, good. All right. I help me. I help me. I so help much. myself. I help myself. Yes. Good. Yes. All right, everybody. Uh, do you have any questions or comments about today's class? Teacher, I don't understand the question number five. What's the meaning? Number this. Five. 
Cell, cell cellular on, on your cell phone, oh. something what like that. Cellular meaning your cell phone, yes. So what do you understand by the word cellular in general? What is a cellular, a cell? It's a particle, it's a, spor it's a portion of something. Do, do you see it? Yes. So what is a cellular? It's a, it's a small portion of something big. Got it? Small. Anybody else? Any questions or comments? No? Okay, no. so once what again, thank you for your time. Thank you for dedicating this hour to the improvement of your language. And we continue Monday, same place, same time. And remember, it's our last week. So have a nice weekend. Thanks, Peter. Same Thank for you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.